which is going to make their arrows go faster, being less impacted by the wind. Here are the athletes making their way to the field for the men's gold final. The man in red, Antonio Hidalgo of Mexico, up against Daniel Munoz of Colombia. On target number one, representing Colombia, Daniel Muñoz. En el blanco, número dos, representando a México. On target number two, representing Mexico, Antonio Hidalgo. Antonio Hidalgo, the current defending champion. El juez de línea de este match, the line judge for this match, Andrew Neville. So, will Hidalgo still be champion five ends from now? Or will he see it snatched from him by the Colombian Daniel Munoz? Which way are you going to go on this, Sarah? Well, Munoz has been very good in his uh, semi-final. So I would say Daniel should win this. He scored 142 over his five ends, Daniel Munoz. Hidalgo making 134 in his semi. So Daniel Munoz to go first in this first end of the men's gold medal match for the Pan American title. Nueve possible diez, nine possible ten. Wind seems to have eased a little bit, still strong, but eased a little bit and steadied in its direction. Nueve possible diez, nine possible ten. Nueve, nine. Ocho, eight. Not happy with that. No, I think the wind is back. Yes. Yes. That's a ten, ten. for Hidalgo. Because you could see both archers' bows were just moving that little bit more. So, um, from what you've seen, uh, what do you make? Uh, any changes from the semi-finals? I don't think so. Hidalgo seems to be more, not focused, but precise in his shooting. You know, his semi-final score wasn't that great. So, I think he's going to try and keep his title. Was the third shot uh, that made the difference in that end. It was an eight for Munoz and a ten for Hidalgo. Otherwise, they didn't match. Well, let's just get confirmation of the scores. Then. Partial official result: Daniel Munoz, Colombia, 27 points. Antonio Hidalgo, Mexico, 28 points. So Hidalgo, a point, a point ahead. Nueve posible diez, nine possible ten. Just as he was about to release, you saw windsocks just going crazy at that far end of the range. Yes, ten. Two excellent shots from Munoz. M, miss. It's disappointing though to see, isn't it, when Nueve, someone is shooting nine. really well and then 
the wind takes control and ruins that for him. It is, yes. The wind can really be annoying for an archer. It's really to, to steady there. Uh, we'll have to wait for confirmation of that, uh, the, the first couple of arrows. But to score an M in a gold medal match, I mean, I, I, how do you deal with that? I'm not sure. I feel like I would give up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, especially when your opponent is shooting so well, you know, and you're going to be a long way behind having shot another two arrows, you know, in the red. But with such condition, you have to remind yourself that actually it could happen to him as well. So just, just you know, keep going, try and make better shots and stay in that match. Resultado oficial 56 puntos Daniel Muñoz, 43 puntos Antonio Hidalgo. So confirmation of, uh, well, Muñoz's points, score. Antonio Hidalgo, 43 points. So 43 to 56. Hidalgo with everything to do. Nueve, nine. He starts his fight back with a nine. Ocho, eight. Diez, ten. Ocho, eight. Nueve, nine. Vamos ahí. Marca zona nomás. Marca. Seguimos continuo, vamos. Seguimos continuo. Ahí, eso es. Y gets a nine for that nine. final arrow. Eighty-one, seventy-one. So at least Hidalgo has now managed to close it to ten points uh, between them. Two ends to go. Do you think Hidalgo can uh, close that gap? I think it's going to be tricky, but if you what, know. Can, what can he do? He can only focus on himself and, you know, make the best shot he still has in him. You know, that's Resultado all you can do. Oficial, Try and make Muñoz, your shooting Hidalgo. as satisfying and partial as good as possible. Results, Muñoz, Colombia, 81 points. Hidalgo, Mexico, 71 points. It's going to be hard for him to put any sort of pressure on Muñoz. He just have has to believe that, you know... Munoz is going to be affected by the wind at some point. Nueve, nine. Ten points between them. And six arrows each left to go. 10 10 9 another 9, nine. for the mexican Siete. Seven. Yes. Excellent ten. ten. Uh, in fact, an excellent end from Hidalgo. Two nines and a ten. Nueve. But he's nine. matched by Munoz. 107 to 99. So that lead now down to eight points, um, which is doable in these conditions. Um, 
but there's one in to go, three arrows each. And I think Antonio Hidalgo is beginning to feel that his Pan American title is slipping from his fingers now. I think so, yes. With only three arrows to go, it's gonna be very difficult for him to, you know, get those points back. Resultado he just has to wish puntos, for, Muñoz, Colombia, you know, Daniel to puntos, make Hidalgo, big Mexico. mistakes. Official partial results. Daniel Muñoz, Colombia, 107 points. Antonio Hidalgo, Mexico, 99 points. Well, the 32-year-old from Colombia was the favourite to win this competition. He's done really well throughout the week. But Hidalgo as well has uh, put in some unbelievable shots. But the conditions in the end, I think, have caught up with Hidalgo. And that miss in the second end was just too much for him to come back from. Yes, 10. Nueve. Nine. So the final arrow Eight. is a seven for Hidalgo. Six. And he gets a six. Just enough for that victory. 132 to 125. Uh, yes, some of those arrows need confirmation. But there's no doubt who uh, the champion is here. Daniel Munoz of Colombia takes the gold medal. The 32-year-old who has so many international medals to his name already adds a Pan American title to his name. I think he was the most consistent archer we've seen uh, in this semi-finals and finals. He deserves the gold medal, I think. He absolutely deserves it. Uh, a great performance from Antonio Hidalgo, both uh, in in qualifying and in the semi-final, and in the uh, in, in, and indeed in this final, he was just in the end uh, beaten by the wind. So we're going to hear from Daniel Munoz uh, shortly, but we're looking at um, some names that you know. Uh, what's interesting is we started, you know, the program saying it's, it's going to be an interesting measure of where they are after a, a year of, of, of very few, if any, international tournaments. Um, and uh, certainly in the men's, I'd say that the men that were near the top a year and a half ago haven't lost that form. No, they don't seem to have. Uh, Munoz has, you know finished third at the last World Cup final and is here the winner. Medalla de oro aquí en este Panamericano. Quiero saber cómo te sientes porque fue una medalla difícil en medio de condiciones bastante fuertes hoy. Bueno, así mismo ha sido unas finales supremamente difíciles. Creo que es una de las condiciones de viento más fuertes que hemos visto en muchísimos años. Igualmente me siento muy feliz pues de poder lograr el oro. Segundo campeonato Panamericano para mí. El primero lo conseguí en 2014 en, en Argentina eh, y, es, y lograr este pues es, un, es un, una felicidad muy grande pues y obviamente poderme imponer un clima tan fuerte, tan feo, donde los puntajes estuvieron supremamente bajitos pero obviamente las condiciones del clima eh, se prestaban para esto, era prácticamente el que lograra sobrevivir más al, al viento, entonces así se dieron las circunstancias y afortunadamente pues... Eh, Eh, digamos la, la, la fortuna estuvo de mi lado y, y al final en el partido logré, logré superar Fuiste uno de los pocos arqueros que hoy no disparó un miss en su partido eh, tuviste puntuaciones bajitas un 6, un 7, pero ¿cómo lograste sobreponerte a las condiciones de viento? Hoy? Bueno, digamos cuando ya el viento se pone de esta manera, eh, lo que queda es sujetar muy fuerte el arco tensionar todos los músculos lo que más se pueda e intentar que el movimiento del arco no te saque de la diana Y, y ahí esperar que el tiro se vaya y en un momento dado pues 
casi que rezar que, que las flechas peguen en, en la diana y es muy de, de las circunstancias de, de, de este tiro alterno puede que a uno le toque más viento que al otro porque como disparan en momentos diferentes eh, son circunstancias de la competencia que, que toca afrontar y pues afortunadamente eh, salí victorioso de ellas. Tú eres uno de los arqueros de Colombia con más experiencia internacional, eh, ¿qué significado tiene este título Panamericano para ti? Bueno, es inmenso porque el Panamericano es un título que todo mundo desea obtener, eh, obviamente se prepara uno mucho para esto y sobre todo este que tiene el tinte especial de ser el primer torneo internacional después de tanto tiempo eh, detenidos en competencia por el hecho de la pandemia entonces volver a competencia internacional y lograr este título individual más el título también de oro de equipos es una satisfacción inmensa y sentimos que durante el tiempo de receso que estuvimos, estuvimos trabajando igual fuerte pues para lograr buenos resultados entonces muy contento y muy feliz pues de, de este resultado Muchísimas gracias Daniel. So Daniel Muñoz of Colombia there confirming how happy he is at winning his second uh, Pan American uh, Championship title. The last time was 2014. He kind of confirmed really what Sarah and I have been talking about and Sarah confirmed earlier that the wind has really played a huge part in these finals today here in Monterrey. But what an immense win it was for him on such an international field and he said he couldn't be happier uh, coming back from, uh, well, having had a year without any top class, uh, top class competition because of the pandemic. So a fantastic uh, win then for Daniel Munoz, a very happy Colombian. And that means Colombia have taken all the medals in the men's and uh, the women's compound archery. And both goals so a big, big day for them here in Mexico.